going on everybody it's charisma and dingba here and today i'll be bringing you some uh, free for all gameplay sorry i have a dip in um woke up this morning pretty early got my lift in come back and uh throw a nice show and play some uh, free for all talk to you guys a little bit um sorry one sec if i just pause randomly kidding, so sorry about that but uh, what I want to talk to you guys today is Weapons about uh, ranked play up, and uh, Call of Duty, to be honest. I mean, I know a lot of you out there probably play ranked play. It's pretty fun. It's a nice change of pace from regular pubs. I don't really like pubs that much, even though I've ran through this map and I've only seen one guy, and I'm not going to get to him. Maybe. Uh, there he is. Let me get his ass. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get your ass. Come here. But... Anyway, rank play is fun. We can all agree that rank play is fun. Until you run into those guys that want to use variants. The variants kill the game, in my opinion. Even though I'm using one right now, which is kind of ironic. As I just kill somebody with a variant, I am here dissing variants. But, um, the reason why I don't like variants, I don't like variants in rank play. Not that I don't like variants, I think they're an awesome addition to the game. Like I just started. I think it's awesome addition to the game that you have variants and you have the option to customize things and you're a faggot because you're laying down your fucking stomach. Okay, I'm getting off topic. Okay. Anyways. <clears throat> One of those times where I'm pausing to spit. But uh, anyway, it's variants rank play. Yeah, it doesn't... I don't, I don't like variants rank play because it's not fair. Say one person has the speakeasy and you're going up against somebody that doesn't have the speakeasy. Now is that very good? And rank play is the closest thing to an MLG form for that there is in this game alone. Now that's not including game battles, which ban variants, but um, yeah, it's the closest thing to form for MLG style. Play. But the thing is, I I just don't I don't think it's fair because like me, I've been playing this game since day one been playing it pretty religiously and I got a lot of hours logged and I still don't have a fucking speakeasy. And by that I mean an inferno. I would do anything to have an inferno. Because I would just run around the map and try to keep my distance from people and not do what I'm doing now. And die. Enemy UAV online. But nine times out of ten in rank play, if you go up against somebody that has an inferno and you have a regular ball or any of uh, the other balls except for um, the, what's it called, the obsidian seed, you're pretty much fucked. You're not going to win that gun battle unless you're just that much better than the other players. But yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, it might have been a little bit, but it is what it is. Hmm. I hate it when I start going on these streets because then my mouth starts to salivate and then I have to spit more and then I have to pause. Otherwise I say I spit in my mouth and it's not fun. I don't know if any of you guys dip, but I don't know. It's something I started when I was playing baseball. And I mean I played baseball in college. I got drafted. I decided to go to the military instead. I don't know, it wasn't very high draft. That's one of the reasons it's like the fucking 30th round, it doesn't even fucking matter. But, um... What else can we talk about today? Okay, preparing for Black Ops 3. Now, as you saw on the gameplay trailers and shit, and all the gameplay from E3, Black Ops 3 is gonna be one of the more traditional qualities, and I fucking suck, holy shit! Enemy UAV online! But anyways... It's going to be one of the more traditional Call of Duties, meaning that there's not going to be all this fucking jumping around like a goddamn bunny rabbit like my uh, teammate Crystal likes to do. I'll try to play like him for a second and give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Let's stop Crystal play. Just jump up and down and shoot. That's all he does. I shit you not, that's all he does. It's fucking hilarious because he just really shoots, but... And he jumps when there's no reason to jump, but I think it helps his aim, to be completely honest. I don't really know how that works, but it does. That kid's stupid. Anyways, preparing for Black Ops 3. If you want to play a Call of Duty game, 
prepare for Black Ops 3, I suggest playing Call of Duty Classic, and by that Enemy I mean the UAV Classic above. mode on Advanced Warfare. Meaning, there's not going to be any jumping, it's just regular, classic, traditional Call of Duty. And that's probably going to be one of your best bets. Or, you can go back and play Black Ops 2, Call of Duty Ghost, stuff like that. <laughs> that should be the trick if you're trying to prepare. Um, wow, I'm so fucking um, really pissed off about that now. But, um, yeah. Well, this has been great, guys. I had a fun time uh, making these videos. I'm gonna try to start making uh, videos that are more, that are longer and more informative about things, but to be honest, at this point right now, I'm, I don't have much to say, because one, Advanced Warfare sucks dick, and I hate it, but I'll still play it, doesn't make any sense, but um, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna expand gameplays a little bit here and there, I'm gonna try to play some ghosts, I'm gonna do some commentaries on some ghost gameplay too, but um, but uh, yeah, um, I hope you guys like the video. Uh, like, subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below, and I will read them all, and I will get to them as soon as I can. So I uh, hope you guys have a great day. See you around.